it's like meditating. Um, for me, when I, it's like running. So when I paint, there's no thought. Yeah, I started off going into this gallery in Richmond and I love this gallery and the guy's name was Eldo and he, I took him my painting in and he said, no, 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 but see this little bit, like this bit, I love this bit, can you do that? And so I went back with this painting, I think three times over 18 months and eventually he said, yes, I'll take your artwork. And then it just kind of went from there. Hi, my name's Kirsten Jackson and I'm a Melbourne-based artist. Um, I can remember at school loving to paint and loving art classes, but I can also remember my teacher not being very encouraging. Um, and I actually did keep a few paintings because I did art in year 12. Um, and I can remember in class not paying much attention and just colouring in and doing palm trees and everything like that. So I think there, it was always there. I just completely forgot about it and went into other areas. Basically, I did my first marathon when I was 18 and I didn't train for it. I think the furthest I'd run was 10 kilometres and the marathon's 42. Um, and I came first in my age group that was at Melbourne Marathon and that's because there was no one else in my age group but <laughs> we won't tell anyone that but then after the kids were born I started running a little bit more and I came top 10 at Melbourne which was fantastic and just gone from there yeah and I think the the, the running has taught me a lot about discipline and not giving up like with the artwork so when I first started painting um, people weren't buying my paintings I would go around to galleries and they'd go no 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 so it wasn't just like I started painting and all of a sudden there was all these people knocking on my door it didn't work that way at all when I was three my dad passed away um, he had like a heart attack but it wasn't from being um, overweight or anything it was just some genetic something happened and he died and then my mum remarried when I was five and then she died when I was 14 she had leukemia when I was 12 so she went to in those days you had a bone marrow transplant so they only did them in London and Sydney so she went to Sydney and I really didn't see her um, yeah so it was very hard upbringing and yeah, I became very independent <laughs> very quickly and I think I learnt just to persevere, not to give up, yeah. So my happy faces come from my mum. So about 10 years ago, um, I went to see this guy and he was like a, I don't know, what do you call him? Like a healer, I guess, like, you know. And he said to me, oh, you haven't grieved your mum, so you need to do what you need to do, do this stuff for me. And he said, now I want you to, what you should do is do a painting of her and put her in the house and then she can be with you and the kids. So I've got the first happy face was my mum. So she's in the house and she like, my husband goes, oh my God, she's looking at me all the time. But no, <laughs> so that's where she, that was, she was the inspiration. I love green with the, this purpley, it's called um, Colbert Violet Light with a little bit of like the oranges and the pinks, like they all look so beautiful together. It's really, there's no process. It's not anything outside of me. Um, it's very intuitive. It comes from inside me. For me in my home, everything, I, I like to be, to be surrounded by beautiful things. So I would like my artwork to add that to someone's home. So they're surrounded by, you know, like having a beautiful bunch of flowers, you know, to have beautiful furniture, to, if that makes them feel better about themselves in their environment. Cause I'm a big believer your environment does have an effect on you. So they start on the ground I, I, and some of them start framed and some of them, as you can see in the studio, the canvas hasn't been stretched yet. Being an artist in Melbourne is fantastic because there's so many amazing artists um, that I definitely draw inspiration from. Yeah, it's just, it's a really, um, we all help each other and are supportive and yeah, and it's, it's great if you've got that as part of being in Melbourne. I think it's fantastic.